way. The title of this one is You're Missing the Point. And the reason why I say that is not all, but some people out there literally, as the title says, miss is the point. Or well, they missed a point, I should say. And let's see. By that, we're talking about art and music. Uh, your income as your income for your work as an artist isn't what determines whether or not you are an artist or a real artist or a fake artist. In fact, if you're doing it just for the money, you're more fake than the person who's not doing it just for the money. Which doesn't necessarily mean you're fake if you get paid handsomely for your work as an artist. So, that's pretty much the gist of this video. So, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Um, if you do any sort of art, you are an artist. Uh, regardless of what you do for your paycheck, you could be working at Home Depot or Walmart. But if you're a if you're also a lyricist, then you're a lyricist first, and then a Home Depot or Walmart employee. And sometimes it angers people. It, it, it enrages them, and I still can't fathom why it would enrage people. Uh, hearing that philosophy, that if you're an artist that happens to work at fucking Walmart, you're an artist first, and then a Walmart employee. You know, th this isn't this isn't shit that should get you fired from Walmart. If that's what you happen to be doing for a living. You know what I'm saying? So, let's say you work at... Let's get a job that's notoriously lower paying than Walmart. This 7-Eleven right here behind me. Let's say you happen to be working at this 7-Eleven here. Okay? And you know, you know you're one of the nicest lyricists in your circle, in your neighborhood, in your, uh, dare I say the word, scene. You know you are the nicest. Don't let anybody discourage you from that. Don't let anybody tell you uh, you need to stop doing that because you're some low-life 7-Eleven employee. First of all, if you're making a living, you're not a low-life. If, if you're able to feed yourself, as I was saying, if you're able to feed yourself, you're not a low life, no matter what that job is. So if it's this, if it happens to be this 7-Eleven right here, then so be it. If it happens to be McDonald's, so be it. But which, uh, it's to my understanding, McDonald's wages are not a joke anymore. They're, they're running into double digits now.
Some are saying $10, some saying a $15. I know uh, I worked in civil service. A lot of people don't know that. During my time that I put out my six albums, I was working in civil service. And they say those are the good jobs. And my starting pay was $15.92. So if you can make what, roughly a buck less than that per hour, uh, working at McDonald's, which I also had experience in doing, why the hell not, do it, but at the same time, understand if you're an artist, you're that first, and then a McDonald's worker, you know, you don't abandon your responsibilities to your bread and butter, but you're an artist first. Okay, so if they, if you have to, if they tear you away from your art for an entire week where you can't even go home and play a simple note on your keyboard at home or, or program a simple beat on your drum machine or whatever or even like bang on a friggin' desktop at home and, and uh, you know, recite some lyrics or whatever, then the job is robbing you. You don't want a job that robs you of your time. Very important. That that that's more, even more important than the wage. So people miss the point. People miss the point. I, like I said, if there's somebody that works that happens to work at this Seven Eleven, hypothetically, that's a really nice lyricist, then that's what they are first. They're not the 7-Eleven worker that does rap lyrics on the side. You know, if they're a really good guitar player and they happen to work at the 7-Eleven, they're not the 7-Eleven player that shreds on guitar on the side. They're the guitar player first and then the 7-Eleven employee. And, and like I said, it's, this isn't something that should aggravate people. You know, I don't feel like I flush my life down the toilet. I, I understand there are people who know a great deal about my personal life that believe that I flush my life down the toilet and it's, uh, I still have all the status that I sought for and gained so I really didn't lose because at any point I could turn around and make a living off of that so you know it's a, but it's just a struggle you know you go I mean it is a struggle to go from you know, being able to walk into any store and buy whatever you want in that store and walk out with it without having to put anything on layaway and shit like that. But, you know, it's got life itself. You heard it. It's a cliche. It's life's got its up and and ups and downs. It's a little late at night. I'm slurring my words, stuttering becoming a stuttering prick, but you get my point. You get my point. I know you do. So, 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 whatever job you do, unless, unless that job is your passion, whatever your passion is, is what you are first, and then you're that job. Okay, because you know, because this isn't this is you know, most jobs are things you could just be trained to do. You don't need finesse for it, and then you just do the job, whatever that job is. I'm, I'm talking even doctors and lawyers. But if you're an artist, 
that requires a little something that you can't just be trained to do. I mean, there are certain techniques you get trained to do, but there's a certain fire, a certain passion inside of you that you need to release. And don't let anybody stop you from doing that. I hope, I hope this uh, helps somebody. Hope it helps somebody.